Hello friends, welcome to Efficient Learning World. So today we are going to cover another program in C++ program playlist that is counting the number of words in the sentence. The sentence can be of type string and sentence can be of type character array as well. I will explain you both method for both methods like for strings and character array as well. So first of all, we will see four string. So let's suppose you have a string like subscribe, like and comment. You can see there are four words in this sentence. Okay. So I will, uh, I will just display. I have to just display the number of words in the string on console. So what I will, uh, what I will do for this, uh, if I give you a clue that how you can easily count the number of words in the string is if I count the number of spaces in the string, then I can easily count the number of words in the sentence as well. So first of all, you can see there are three spaces and if I add it uh, if I add one in the three then there will be four uh, okay so uh, subscribe and like and uh, and and comment okay you can see there are four words in the sentence and I have to display this four on the and I have to display this four on the console so let's start okay so first of all so first of all I will explain you four strings so let's start so first of all I will declare a variable named a you can use another type of another name for this and I will initialize it with subscribe like and comment you can also take input from the user on console during the runtime okay and now I will declare a variable named uh, count and uh, initialize it with zero okay so what why you, I declared this variable variable and initialize it with zero because the output me uh, the output because the number of words okay this variable will store the number of words in the sentence so there are four words in the sentence then this variable will store four okay so after this evaluation after this uh, program evaluation okay so I am going to use a loop you can use any type of loop like while loop do while loop for loop I will use for loop that will be easier for me okay so first of all I will declare a local variable name int i is equal to zero i is uh, okay uh, a null character okay no not is equal to null character okay so what I did in this I put a condition that start from zero okay int i is equal to zero means it will start from s and the last character okay so last character is t okay so I put a condition that until the last character means uh, you know that each string and character array must consist of a null character so I just put a condition that until the last character of this string this loop will continuously execute okay so in the third part I will just increment i plus plus i plus plus I use here increment operator you can also use i is equal to i plus one okay so that will be easier for you okay I just use increment operator and in this loop in the for loop body I will put a condition if uh, a i if is equal to uh, space okay so what I did here is that if the, there is a if this loop if this condition is satisfied then this loop will execute then this body of if will be execute and it will just increment in when count plus plus okay so what I did here let's suppose this loop will execute okay and the first character it will found is equal to uh, a r i okay so let's suppose i int i is equal to 0 a i a i in the start it will be s okay so it will see that s is equal equal to space then this condition is not true then this will not this body will not execute okay and this will again continuously execute and next character will be int i is equal to 1 because of this increment operator it will be i is equal to 1 and this will see that next character means u this will count this will see that u is equal to space then this condition is also not true then this body will also not execute okay so until it will uh, see a space it will count and increment count variable okay so just after this loop I will display the number of words in the sentence and it will be a uh, number of words in string okay and I will just display and increment it with one okay so why I'm increment it with one because you can see there are three spaces and four words okay so it will not count the last word okay so for this last word I am just incrementing it with one okay so that's why I am incrementing it with one okay so this loop what will do this loop will start from s to t okay s from t s to t 
and in this it will count the number of spaces and after this counting the number of spaces it will just increment it with one after this loop execution okay so i will just run this program and you can see that number of words in the string is four because you can see subscribe like and comment there are four words in the string and you can see the console output number of words in the string is also four so this is because this loop and after this loop i just increment it with one so the same method is for the character array you can see I also made this program for character array you can see first of all I uh, declare a, a very a character array okay and its size can be uh, 50 100 and as well okay as you wish and then I declare a variable same in count is equal to zero okay and uh, if okay I explain you uh, another easy term that if you want to not increment if if you don't want to increment it with one then you can just initialize it with one okay so what it will do you don't need to increment it with one after this loop execution so this will also uh, valid okay so i explain you so now for this uh, for this program for character array counting number of words in uh, sentence for character array i just run this program enter a string it is uh, asking me to enter a string i just enter subscribe like and comment so i entered and you can see number of words in the string is four subscribe like and comment okay so there are four words in the uh, in the string so you see the four character array and four string this will give me same output okay so the, here you can see that i just use a for loop and in this for loop i just put a condition that until the last character means the null character it this loop will continuously execute and this if condition will ex uh, count the number of spaces in the string and after this loop execution i just display the number of words in string uh, and this will be count okay so thanks for watching this video